Welcome to Burkett Bytes. My name is Chris Howey. Digitization is drastically transforming the automation world, as well as creating a lot of opportunity. In this series of videos, we take you through the best practice for digital connectivity in process automation. We hope you enjoy. Welcome to our digital connectivity video on Profinet and Profibus. These are two of the most widely used networks that are available in the market today. To demonstrate these, we've set up a working system with quite a number of different products uh, and different types of products all put onto the, uh, the Profinet network. So we're starting with a uh, Siemens S7 PLC and uh, we've got a touch screen and, al and also a managed switch. From there, we're setting up a redundant ring that goes around each of the devices that are installed here on the green cable. This redundant ring has the ability to accept a cable break and yet pick up immediately. I can demonstrate the operation of this by literally breaking the cable. Now you'll see that we get an alarm immediately that I've broken that cable, but it does come good immediately and says I'm back up and running. So in other words, it could have been a forklift has driven through a cable and broken it and it tells you that there's a problem, but you know that you can go and fix it. And once it's repaired, of course, the ring is reformed and the system comes back to working again. So there are a number of ways that we can take Ethernet to the field. And there's three ways that you really have to consider the main ways. One is having devices that connect directly to Ethernet. And as an example here, we've got the likes of uh, uh, modulating control valve down here connected directly to the uh, Profinet. We've got a mass flow meter connected directly to the Profinet and we've got our Burkett multi-cell connected directly to Profinet, which may be taking in things like pH, conductivity, turbidity, etc. The second way is to use distributed I.O. blocks. And to show you an example of that, we've got our integration here with the Siemens ET200 SP, where we've got inputs, outputs, and valves all connected on a single uh, node, and also the ET200 SP HA which is the high avail availability version of that uh, system, where we also have inputs, outputs, and valves all connected into an I.O. cluster. The third way, of course, is when we connect via a gateway to a sub-network. And this sub-network could be the Burkett EDIP network, it could be I.O. link, or it could be ASI. In this instance, we're showcasing that by connecting to the Burkett ME43 and then breaking into the EDIP network where we're showcasing one of our uh, hygienic flow meters. Now from that breaking into that sub network you could put a cluster of valves maybe 60 valves if you like all on one Profinet node. All of these devices that are connected of course are all capable of being part of that MRP or that redundant ring protocol. To give you an example of the connectivity and the things that uh, that we can do I can actually uh, do things like monitor the flow on a mass flow meter. So if I click on the screen here, I can see the mass flow meter. We have zero liters per minute. I open the valve. And you'll see on the display, we're now getting up to 50 liters a minute of air passing through that mass flow meter. And I can adjust that down until it goes closed. And the same on a modulating valve, I can connect to this 8693 here. And uh, let's change the set point from 56 to 25%. I hit enter, it changes to 25% and I get my feedback telling me here it's at 25.2%, so within seconds. So yeah, the connectivity is totally seamless to the Siemens system. I'm going to hand over to Nelson now, our uh, uh, national engineering team leader who's going to take you through integrating this control valve into the Siemens system. Thanks, Chris. Let's take a look at the Type 8693 electro-pneumatic positioner and how it's configured in Siemens TIA portal. First of all, we need to navigate and find the GSDML file on the Burkett website. Simply search for 8693, type number, and we navigate down to the device description files, which are listed. We then download those files. As a zip file, we then navigate into the zip file and select 8692-8693 Profinet, which we then give in a version, and then the GST email files themselves. 
Once we have those files, we go to TIA portal and we can import those files through the GSD manager. Once the files are imported, they're then listed on our system tree here as a process controller 8693. We then simply drag that device into our device and network configuration manager. And we can take a look at the relevant tags that are associated with that device. So in this case, focusing on the set point and position of the device. When I go online, I've created a simple tag table, which then I can take a look at our values and modify as required. I can then monitor the feedback position, which is very close to our set point position. Back to you, Chris. Thanks, Nelson. Um, one of the nice things about uh, these different uh, networks, in particular these uh, I.O. networks that we've integrated directly with Siemens, is the hot swap functionality. We understand in the process market, we don't have systems we can turn off. If you're running a batch fermentation, as an example, you can't say, oh, I've had a valve go down, I need to close my fermentation. You can't do that. So in other words, we've got to work out ways we can get back up and running in a fast way. All of the Siemens systems that you know are hot swap functionality. So you can pull out the electronics and uh, on any I.O., whether it be analog, digital or whatever, and you'll get an alarm. But when you actually re-plug it back in, it comes good again. Burkett has also done this with our valve manifolds. So we have an optional device where, undo a couple of screws here, we can also, under full operating pressure, remove a valve, change it for another valve, and replace it back in. And within seconds, we can be back up and running under full power and under full air. So it's a, it's a good availability to have a hot swap and get up and running in a, in a short period of time. Another feature that we offer is uh, the ability to have a safety valve installed as well. These safety valves mount directly into the network and when they're not overridden by this extra cable here, they are fully running on the network system. However, we have the ability with a safety relay to override that valve and take control of what's happening in the field. So you may have a, a dangerous uh, situation from moving machinery or a valve that shouldn't open or shouldn't close under a certain, uh, because someone's opened a manhole, therefore you can override the valve. So in other words, you can have a safety circuit as part of your Profinet or Profibus circuit. That gives you an overview of most of the products we do on Profinet. Um, we also are gonna give a quick shout out to Profibus. All of the products on this panel, apart from the multi-cell and the Siemens HA series are available on Profibus as well because Profibus is still a widely accepted network in the market. Applications where you would use Profinet are anywhere where there's a large infrastructure uh, or high level of automation. This could be a pharmaceutical plant uh, where we have direct integration either in field devices or in IO clusters. It could be in uh, water treatment, desalination, it could be in food and beverage, it could be in any of those, uh, those applications. It's interesting that uh, in food and beverage and water treatment and even pharmaceutical, around 30% of outputs are actually pneumatic. So this integration of pneumatics directly into the network, whether it be on the valve itself or in clusters, is actually quite valuable in automating those systems. The products that Burkett has available for Profinet and Profibus uh, start with valve islands, we have our multi-cell uh, controller, we have uh, flow meters, mass flow meters, mass flow controllers, we have uh, modulating control valves and on-off control valves, just to mention just a few. And there you have it, an overview of Profibus and Profinet capabilities and our integration with Burkett. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed this Burkett Byte video. There's a number in the series, I hope you take the opportunity to watch them all. And if you do have an application, our local engineering team is here to support you. Thanks.